first job for kaijupop.com and today we're taking a look at Poncho. This is on PS4, I believe, PC, some other things as well. Uh, you won't be able to tell, I'm not feeling my best this morning, so, um, you know, forgive me for that in advance. Um, this is a strange game. This is like one of those games that uh, you really should play while you're sick, just to kind of get the full effect of, of weird stuff going on. I am a robot. My name is Poncho. My name is Poncho because I wear a Poncho. Um, original, I know. And uh, the deal is here. Whoops. Whoops. Double whoops. That's kind of there. Um, yes, and the deal is here, it looks very much like a, a 2D platformer, except for, whoa, the things that I was just doing there with Parallax. Look at that, look at, look at, Parallax, oh, can't do it, here, oh, uh oh, um, let's go this way for a bit, because I didn't think I'd been this way before. Um, the idea here is, yes, you can see that the, the... Uh, levels are made up of distinct planes, and I can shift backwards down a bit there, or I can shift forward. There's like three planes in each section, I believe. Um, and it's kind of to the game's detriment, and uh, you know, it's a it's a positive and a weakness at the same time. It gets very difficult to kind of uh, see where uh, you can move or where you're supposed to move to an extent. And that's a little bit, you know, it's it's a cool gimmick, but it's it's also a slightly irritating one. Um, <clears throat> but it's that kind of 2D, faux 3D stuff uh, that... Now, I want to get that red thing. I need to find out how to do that. Because the other red thing I have lets me repair broken robots, which is a good thing. Um, yes, the, the sort of pseudo, ah, it's 2D, but it's also 3D thing. Um, whoops. Uh, might make you think of Fez. I think of Fez a lot when I'm playing this game. Uh, this is a very Fez-like Fez game. Uh, in terms of, A, it, it appearing like a simple, uh, sort of puzzle platformy thing. Um, but actually being very, actually being fairly complicated. Like, each of these spaces, um, is actually, you know, it's it's kind of not just we're running left to right here, we're, we're sort of going, you know, each stage is, is its little open world in a sense, like you're free to roam around um, each of these stages, and there are several different stages as we'll get to, and that's because uh, kind of the real main drive of the game is just to continue this journey to get to a red tower. Uh, basically, I'm a robot in a world where humanity has ended. Uh, basically, there's been a catastrophic event of some kind. There was a nuclear bomb going off at the beginning. And all humanity has been wiped out. There are animals around, but and other than that, it's just like robots that were uh, people's servants in, in the olden days. And um, me, Poncho, my creator, has something, has locked something in a way inside of my uh, robot body here um, that can restart humanity, is the idea. I'm going to go ahead and touch this, and I expect weird stuff to happen. Yep. What's this thing? Jump while mid-air to smash! Ah, I got my butt bump. Totally good. Um, I dare say I'll be using that to break through things. There's a little bit of Metroidvania about this game, but... Not a crazy amount. Um, I say a little bit of Metroidvania because we, I am doing a lot of backtracking back and forth. Um, but that's mainly because you get keys and you find keys in different stages and you can use them to open doors. But those keys aren't verbs in any sense. Um, you know, except for like that's the first new ability that I've gotten. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, that was, this is actually the first, yeah, that was the first level there. Um, I've unlocked the ability to repair broken robots, and that's like the three out of six over there. Also, you can see, like, I found some separate keys. You can also buy keys with the currency, which is those uh, red diamond things. And so, um, there's this kind of sort of meta goal of collecting all the robots, but what you really want to do is find the teleporter in each stage, that, like, spinny gate thing and uh, use those two to shift upwards uh, through the stages. And there's not that many of the stages, so it's again one of those Fez kind of situations where the main game itself maybe wouldn't take you that long, but there's a lot hidden away underneath. Um, some of the platforming does a lot of this stuff of like these uh, gates sort of... Crap. Uh, passing in and out of the screen, and I find those really difficult. I just keep on falling off them. Uh, oh, I can repair this robot. It's really good. And it's gonna return off to the junkyard, which is where the, the robot king lives. There's a little, there's some nice sort of uh, humor and, and bizarre characters uh, that you come across during the game and one of them being this this robot king that's um, telling me to go out and fix all the broken robots. Uh, I'm clearly rubbish here so I'm just going to move on. Uh, I have two keys, so two red keys, so I can get through here, jolly good. And we can keep moving on here. Um, music is really good, uh, as you might be able to tell. Uh, the presentation is, is really good, really nice. Um, but it is one of those, I, I just I really get the feeling, it's, it's interesting because it's a game about parallax, right? Um, and, you know, things moving between fore and background, you know, parallax scrolling back in the day, if you're as old as me, you'll remember when parallax scrolling was a really big selling point uh, for a video game. A lot of these robots have existential crises because they don't have a master to serve anymore. Um, and so they're feeling a bit bummed out and feeling a lack of purpose. Um, so there's a key right there, but I can't shift forward when I'm in these sort of electrostatic field things. Uh, also, yeah, it, it's this kind of thing that's annoying. I'm right at the back of the screen here, and you can see I want to get to the front of the screen. But there isn't anything in the middle tier. Sometimes it's really hard to tell like which plane you're on. Um, and that gets to me a little bit. Especially when there are sections that require you to kind of make a jump and shift at the same time. And they get quite demanding. Um, it gets pretty irritating to not be able to see exactly where you, you need to be. Maybe I have more luck like that. I don't know. shift through there. And then there's nothing there either. Uh, whatever I'm going to do. I didn't need to do that. Oh well, never mind. I'm going to do what I always do and go, well, not doing that right now. <laughs> going to come back to it later on. And so there is this kind of freedom. There's there's no um, there are a few difficult jumps here for sure, um, but like the the game isn't mechanically very taxing. Uh, there's no enemies to deal with or anything like that. But um, it's more about just figuring out how do I get to there kind of thing. and memorizing the patterns of these platforms that are rolling in and out. 
It's so hard to tell. I don't know. It is really difficult to kind of... I think, anyway. Okay. Mm, this far. Uh, it is really difficult to figure out, in my mind, which plane you're on. Like, if there was just some kind of indicator, uh, that might do it, but it's... Alas, not to be. Okay, well, again, I'm gonna go fuck that and move this way. But then there's nothing this way. Uh oh. Huh. I'm definitely gated here for trying, between trying to figure out at least one of the two puzzles that are presented to me here. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. This is promising. Crap. 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 Uh, at least I respawn there. Oh no! See, then I shifted. I didn't have the confidence in myself to, to get up there. Okay. This way, this way, this way. Okay. And forward? No! I wasn't fast enough. So you've got to get up and get over that thing, so... That should have... Hmm. Okay. Ah, but you get kind of... You get trapped if you do that. Okay, let's just hang out here for a bit. Figure it out. Um... The what? Should have been able to go back there. And bum. Okay. Ah. Ah, uh, okay, alright, I had it. There. I was just very slow in figuring that out. Okay, in the meantime, that thing has shifted to the foreground. Just to make my job harder, I guess. Sort of seems to be deciding for some reason that I can't shift backwards and forwards when clearly I can. Or I should be able to. Maybe. Okay. Ah, oh, no, that wasn't the right place, was it? This is frustrating viewing, isn't it? Thrilling internet TV. What? Say that I have harumphed. Oh, bum. I did it one time. Oh, why just sometimes that thing will just move into the background? I don't know why. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Oh, and there it is again. Moved yet again. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know where I should be. It's the most frustrating thing. It is really hard to see, you know. It, I mean, it's kind of hard to play by eye. Still, the music's nice. Why didn't... why... I really don't know... Ah, crap. They jumped up there, which kind of masked where I was, and then... I don't know... So you're kind of seeing like the frustration that I have with this game at the moment and that is its its definite weak point is when it's trying to be very clever clever especially with these timing blocks um, that I constantly just, just fall off of to be honest with you. Um, what? Oh, just give me the benefit of the doubt you know you almost feel I know what I'm supposed to do for whatever reason, the game is not letting me do it. Um, and that's kind of my fault, but also it's just kind of like trolling you by moving that central thing that shouldn't technically move by moving it like every four or five shifts just to, I don't know, fuck with you. Uh, Let's see. A what? Just, just why? Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is awfully frustrating. Um, and the thing is, I was actually quite enjoying this game up until now. Um. Oh, just the timing on the thing, if they were timed the same. That's another thing, like some of these blocks are on different timers than the other ones, and... Oh, it's annoying. Oh, it's annoying. I don't think I need to shift. I think, like, if I just time my jumps right, I should be able to do it. Um, but eat, no, but I don't think I can, actually. Because the that the timing for the top one is so slow. Uh. Okay. Ah! See if they move together. They should have done. Put a bit on top there, and there the blocks moved again. Great. Ah. Oh. I did it! I did it! Oh, I was on there for a second! And it's like, once you do it, you've got to move again instantly. There's, there's no kind of assessing, okay, what should I do next? It's just, you need to be up at the next bit, like right now. Oh man, this is annoying. This is the worst bit in bits this year. Good grief. Where am I trying to get to? See, I'm not even sure if I did get up there, whether it really helped me. Got a couple of robot bits, I guess. Maybe. Let's... Uh, fuck this. Fuck this puzzle. Screw it. 
One robot there that we don't need to get. Screw it. Let's figure out the other bit, I suppose. Okay, back here again. So, do the thing, do the thing, don't get you to the back. But you can't get forward from here. I can get forward from here, but there's nothing to get forward to. Let's try it back out. That's not gonna work. Oh, uh, I bet. Okay. Alright. I bet what I should do. Set it moving, and then jump, uh, and there you go, I got a key, hooray! Then from there I can get further out, okay, my ingenuity there, hooray! Just got there. So, for the last few centuries, you get a little bit of background to the story here. So, it's like whatever event took place was a long, long time ago. A long time for Poncho to get his secret to restore humanity explained to him. Okay. Nope. Okay, it's in the foreground. Okay. And this was often a problem with a hey, teleporter, lovely. Thank you very much. Hooray! So that gets us out of that section. And of course, like I didn't, I think I repaired one video, one video, one robot in that section. So um, yeah. So I can always go back and do those other two there. Let's, uh, let's give this go. This is always like a problem with like the the old video games that that really used parallax scrolling as a selling point back in the 16-bit days. Um, it would always be, oh, these these backgrounds are really colorful and, and really good looking, but it's really hard to tell like what's in the back, you know, what's safe and in the background, and uh, what's in the foreground that will kill you. A little bit framey this area. Yes. Ooh, ooh, that's a little bit dinky. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had, like, technical issues, but, ooh. Yeah. Maybe, it, again, I'm not feeling particularly well today, so... Maybe that's just me not feeling particularly well. But it's kind of... Isn't it? Pretty framey, ooh, dear. I'm pretty dinky. Probably not over enough to climb. Probably not. I think that's probably my task here, though, is to climb up and see the, the chief of the mannequin tribe. Oh, oh. That's not good. Ah, more of those fucking things. I hate those things. the village chief then. Okay. I thought I could stack that. I think it'd be in the benefit of the doubt on that one. Again, can't stand enough how how nice the music is here. It's very nice. You can hear that yourself. Let's see, let's 
to the Freemy Land. Stop. Oof. Yeah. No, I'm definitely not making that up. It's like there's there's just way too much going on in this level, I guess, for the engine. But uh, yeah, right? not, not good visually there, frame rate wise. But I'm gonna have to suffer through <laughs> some misplatforming. Wish me luck. how long that thing was flashing for, you know, so very often it's just I'm using the flash to gauge when to jump exactly, but it just seems that occasionally just to troll you, it will stay flashing for a really long time so that you don't have anything to land on when you jump. What we want, I think, is for these things to be on different planes. So if they're on the same plane. See how long that's flashing for? If I was on that and I had to jump, I would screw it up. Because fuck you, video games. Uh, no, it's put me on the way back here. Oh. So, uh, yeah, Poncho, I guess. Um, I really love the, the presentation of it, albeit not the freeness that's going on here. It's uh, probably an issue with the PS4 version in particular, not, maybe not well optimized for consoles. Um, I love the music and I love the idea of it and uh, I love come with some of the brazen weirdness that, that's going on here, uh, as well as I think like these cherry blossom trees that I believe are playing subtle reference to uh, the rather excellent Tomba. Um, but it seems right now some of the, the weaker parts of this game are actually playing this game. Um, oh! Flange. Oh, oh, it's yeah. No, I'm, I'm too ill to persist here, I think. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is Poncho. It's out right now on PS4 and PC. ChrisChalfKaijuPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.